Hi everyone, in today's video I want to show you how I handle errors in Spring Boot RESTful API. Knowing how to handle exceptions is crucial for every developer. One attribute that distinguishes expert programmers from less experienced ones is their pursuit and achievement of high degree of code reuse. Reusing standard exceptions rather than creating new ones has several benefits. However, it is not advisable to reuse exception, runtime exception, trouble, or error directly, because they are super classes of other classes. Treat these classes as if they were abstract, as using them can make testing extremely difficult. In Spring Boot, error handling has become much simpler. In recent versions, you can handle exceptions in a centralized way instead of dealing with exceptions in multiple classes. Here is a simple example of REST controller. I simulate exceptions like this. If the ID is equal to 1, a legal state exception will be thrown, and if the ID is equal to 2, a legal argument exception will be thrown. Otherwise, the REST controller sends a valid response. As already said, instead of creating new exceptions, we use the existing ones that derive from runtime exception. For example, the illegal state exception is usually thrown when the caller attempts to use some object before it had been properly initialized, and the illegal argument exception is generally thrown when the caller passes in an argument whose value is inappropriate. In recent versions of Spring Boot, you can centralize exception handling by annotating class with this annotation. REST controller advice. This enhances the separation of concerns and make your code more readable and testable. And here you can define a method to handle a specific exception type. All you need to do is to annotate the method with the corresponding exception. For example, this one for illegal state exception. So you have the possibility to modify or enhance the response sent to the client. This method is for generic exception. It is annotated with exception to catch all exceptions not specified here. So now let's run the server to test this implementation. Server has been started. As you see, we simulate an error when id is equal to 1, and this one illegal argument exception, it is not implemented here. It means this will catch the error. So let's see in the browser when entering 1, so this error has been caught, and when entering 2, for example, so this is the general exception, we got the exception as implemented. And this is the happy path, so when no exception is thrown, and we get the response from the controller itself. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next one.